Your birthday? Yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah, on, what? During your, your WNBA rookie debut season? What? That's wild, that's wild. What? We gonna, we gonna on jump the right. PJ? What? Get you dressed on the PJ? We going to jump right into it, yeah. man. Back, man. <laughs> <laughs> on the episode of Zero Turn of the Podcast, man. Man, listen, man. I met this 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 lady, this 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 woman, this this... This powerhouse I met at the what we, we had a little uh, uh leadership through athletics. Yeah, um Coach Garrison. So yeah, 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 league. yeah. Uh, shout, shout my guy out, you yeah. feel me? You know, my mom. But yeah, so I brought my guy through this. So you know we ran into each other, you know, she seen me with the cameras and stuff. You know, the cameras bring the girls out, <laughs> they bring the baddies out. <laughs> so you know we met and from then on, you know, I invited him on the show. You feel me? She was all for it, man. So, you know, today we got Infinity. Thanks for bringing me on. Listen, we got our shades on. We looking real snazzy and jazzy, a little chill, real chill. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday right now today, you feel me? So by the time y'all see this, it's going to be, you know, Monday and all that. But, um, yo, like, let's start off with the first topic, man. Fashion and sports, man. Like, Man, we gotta start off with my girl Angel Reese. Yeah, look, let's go. Look, Baltimore in the building. Let's she go. been representing on all levels. What? Her on her WNBA rookie debut. She on her birthday popped out at the Met Gala. Yeah. yeah off the PJ. Yeah, yeah. What? Got yeah. styled on the PJ. Yeah. What? Hey, the hold on. Announced announced her uh her declaration for the league through a Vogue spray. Yeah, man. She been on Vogue twice now. Amen. Sports Illustrated. Amen. What? Man, Angel been doing it big with the same. Shout out to Baltimore, up. man. Man, Shout Baltimore, Baltimore in the building. Man. It's just in sports, man. Baltimore, man. We we've been making a stat, man. I like to see it. Mm. But let's 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 go back. Let's take them back a little bit as far as fashion and the history of fashion and sports. Cause I remember when I first started, like, was really into sports, you feel me? Like it was the real baggy era. <laughs> like, you know, them Tim Duncan's real crazy. You feel me? But then you had you had niggas like Iverson that just brought the you feel me? The nigga brought the streets to yeah. the to the fashion. Well, sports been leading the way in the fashion world for a long time. Like where where was trending? Always had been. Look at Michael Jordan. You feel me? Look at Run DMC and my Adidas, like you feel me? Like, these are all athletic. Deion things. Sanders. What? These are all athletic things that we are bringing to the forefront of fashion. Like, sports always been the trending topic. We always put out the trends and what people were wearing. And we look to, you know, you feel me? Jordan created a whole era post-basketball. People killing each other over Jordans. Hey, and that's <laughs> like, and, and, and crazy that she said that. That joint, that's still, still going on today. For yeah, real, for real. Yeah. You feel me? And that's crazy because I, I had a conversation with somebody about that the other day, right? Because, you know, when I got in my little Jordan phase, you feel me? Like, you realistically, you cannot keep up mm. with them retros, bro. Mm-hmm. You cannot keep. Somebody tell you point me to the person that got every retro that ever dropped in the hood or in anywhere. You can't it's really, impossible. you can't, yeah. So it's, it's so like, many different collabs now. Once I, once I, once I started, like, yo, I can't keep up with this shit, you feel me? That's like, not meant for you to keep up, that's the whole point. Like, nigga, you can't <laughs> kill a nigga every month, nigga, to get them joints, <laughs> nigga. Because he's You're going to jail, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the joints going, some, the niggas going to steal your joints, because that's what happened when I went to jail. Nigga stole all my joints and shit. Stole all my shit, you feel me? That's what's going to happen, man. Or if you die. You feel me? What you going like? I mean, so just stop it, y'all. Stop yeah. killing for these Jordans. It's not worth it. Please, no. But I remember when Iverson was doing all that, bringing the hood to the NBA. That's when they they uh they changed a lot of the dress codes and all that. So well, you know you got to wear mm-hmm. a tie or whatever. But once niggas niggas said, what? All right, well we gonna we gonna we gonna spaz well, that up too. Of course. You feel me? Now and the crazy thing I was watching, you know. The beginning of a couple of WNBA games and the girls coming through. I'm like, damn, they fly as shit. 
But a lot of them didn't have sign. didn't have bags and purses. Mm. I said, damn, all the NBA niggas took all the bags. <laughs> no, you ain't lying. Come here with the do- damn. <laughs> yeah. I ain't even think you right. Yeah. I said, all the NBA niggas took that all nigga the bags. That nigga be Wade. <laughs> Russell Westbrook and all them niggas, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I I like what I'm saying, man. And man. And for tall people, you feel me? Like, you know, I, I consider oh. myself a tall person. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm six feet, mm-hmm. you feel me? But really, a, a lot of my other friends, like, they taller than me. Yeah. So when I get I'm six them, four. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So like, and then I rock heels, too. So coming through the building, six, eight, six, nine, you know. So when you a tall person, you got to... You gotta put it on a certain oh, way. Definitely. You just can't throw on anything. You feel me? As soon as you walk, it's not like this my whole life. As soon as you walk through the door, all eyes are gonna be on you. Like you might as well make a statement. You can't be young. It's boy. really it's it's like being a tall person is like really you you kind of like a god for real. Ooh, for like, real. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, for real. Or it's cause like people are literally looking. Up they to have you. to look, look up, up to you. you. You feel me? And mm-hmm. now that you got their attention just from. Your status. It's a lot easier to command attention, command a room. So now what you gonna do with that? Exactly. So now it becomes what kind of guard are you? Mm. You feel me? <laughs> now you got all these people watching. Not that freaky yeah, six nine guard. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Don't be that type of guard. Hey listen, you know what? You know what you know what I like about this show, you feel me? It, like we had, we started we really started this podcast before it is what it is for real for real mm. yeah man so all that raw shit and all that shit y'all see we ain't been doing that I you know I just was watering it down a little bit cause you know my you know my kids are coming all day you mm. feel me but they wild too them little niggas wild no you these, me? look I teach you this generation <laughs> they talk rock they wild oh man trying to Man, we, we got something on our hands with this next generation. Hey, we wow. were a little bit more, like, subtle with our shit. Like, you know, nah, they... Man, they got, you they got this. <laughs> they got this, bro. Like, they got that. And it's like... It's... It's, it's too much. It's like, alright, they already em- emotional now. This just adds a whole another Not level of emotion. Like, and yeah. it, it's, too much, it's too much emotion, so... My part that I try to play is showing them, like, yo, you have to focus on you. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, you letting this person affect your emotions, that person affect your emotions, this person affect your emotions. Shut off the phone, you feel me? Focus mm-hmm. on you. And I'm, I'm everything, the girl you want, this, whatever you want going to come to you once you focus mm-hmm. on yourself. You feel mm-hmm. me? So, and I show them by just, by this, by doing this, like. I had to focus on myself. I had to really tap into my imagination. You feel me? I had to really apply. I call myself an intelligent person. So mm-hmm. if I'm intelligent, why I'm not? I'm not making intelligent choices. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it's like I really had to tap into who I am, and all this came opportunities and all that. And you feel me? I'm from Baltimore mm-hmm. City. I'm from the I'm trenches. Meditation. Meditation is how I tap into myself. That's I try it. to teach my kids that as well. Like, you know, meditation, affirmations, you know, like a lot of my kids before they leave my class, we line up, hey, give me an affirmation and line up. Mm-hmm. You know, explain and now I explain to them why I'm doing that. You know, I want you to know you can literally be, do whatever you want to do. You think a thought, a thought, any everything you see around us started, started with, with a thought. thought. You gotta go with inside yourself. The lights, this, all this, <laughs> it's the, the chairs we sitting in, the clothes we wearing, that came from somebody's mm-hmm. thought. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Gotta go tap into yourself. You know, I mean, the best thing I ever did one time, I spent the whole six months like I couldn't figure. I was in between. It's right before I started working on my now. And I was having the hardest job time landing a job. I'm like, man, what is going on? Like, I'm qualified. My resume is nice. Like, what? Every, it, nothing was landing. Man, I went in nature every day. Mm-hmm. I went in there. I took. I went on hikes. I went by waterfalls. I went to gardens, parks. Like I was just always in nature. And I just I started meditating, just getting real into myself. During that time, I started a catering business. Mm-hmm. Man, I was making like. So you know how to cook? Yeah. See that yeah. that's your that's a talent. I got, I'm a look, I'm a woman of many talents. Because because <laughs> um realistically a lot of girls. Ain't on that cooking wave no more mm-hmm. type. You feel me? So like that's that's really like a talent. You it feel is. me? Because you remember no. back like once again we from Baltimore. We gonna keep shouting out to everybody. You feel me? That's you know watching from around the world and TV land and all that. But mm-hmm. we from Baltimore. Like we come from a city where 
Yeah, niggas got oh we got cookouts, such and such uh, got plates. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. We, we don't need to see no no. Uh, you know what I mean? Won't go out. I don't go out of town to get food. No, especially don't send me out of town for no seafood. It hey, depends. Listen, it, man, especially if it ain't on the coast. Hey, listen, niggas is cooking yeah. out the kitchen, selling plates out the kitchen, and, no. we, and we ain't asking for no. Uh, 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 what's the what's the shit you need for when you a cook? You need the. Uh, Certificate and all that. Uh, oh shit, the licenses. Yeah, all, all that licenses. Like, like, hey, let that. me see the food, man. Let me see, man. Let me see the arms. Yeah, you got frozen cups too. I want a frozen cup too. Yeah, yeah. Like, all that, man. Look, God, that's how we knew who could cook, man. Your grandma was on what had that little crease in it, man. Nah, I know your grandma was getting in, in the kitchen. That's who taught me how to cook. My grandma was. And, and like, then I look back on that. All, I look back on all that shit and be like, damn, like, like niggas. Like, we ain't really as poor as everybody think we is because, yo, the hood, we used to feed each other. Man, there's so much us. talent was in us. Literally, I woke up, I said, damn, I need some money. What do I know how to do well? I know how to cook. All right, boom. Went and made me a logo on Canva. Made an Instagram page. Started tagging everything on my regular page to my cooking page. Like, man, started doing posts like, follow my page. I give you five percent all such Like, you know, like, yeah. marketing. <laughs> started walking like, just started branding myself. Like, man, put that logo on everything. Like, got t-shirts and stuff made. Like, Merch. it ain't nothing to go. What? It ain't not, all off of your phone. All and that's crazy like, too because. I've been writing a lot of merch lately. Shout out to YouTube, you feel me? Shout out to Marbany brand. You Who's feel me? Avenues? I see YouTube you. Avenues. This YouTube, okay. you know what I mean? So it's a, like, I've been writing a lot of merch. People have been making a lot of fire merch lately, you feel me? Shout out to all my sponsors and everything too, you feel me? But um, yeah, man. Like, once you monetize, listen, turn the phone off, yo. Turn everything off. Meditate. Just, you know, learn who you are, know what you're good at. What you might be a little bit good at, know you got work on. You feel me? Because it's all about practice. Oh, that's the thing about the phones, though. We're using the phones in the wrong way. Wrong way. I was saying here, following. We were just having this conversation on camera about leaders and followers. There's two mm-hmm. types of people in this world. They're the followers and they are the leaders. They are the people that set the trends and the people that follow the trends. That's a fact. Man, if you want to start setting them, man, get off of social media. Get off. Use the phone the correct way. It's so mm-hmm. many different resources. Free, online, whatever Just you want. the information Google. age. Literally, we're in, the, um, we're in the age of Aquarius. That's a fact. Look at all this stuff. Man, Cat Williams started set it best at the beginning of the year. That's a fact. What? He said 2024. We're in an eight year. That's a fact. Yeah, so if a lot of people don't know what that means, looking to it, we in an eight year right now. See, that's that's because people ain't in tune with the universe. Mm-hmm. Like she said, something that that you know that that hit it right on the nail. Like she went to nature. She got out the nature. You feel me? That's like, where I feel closest to God at. And nature. that's where we all gonna feel it, y'all. Because mm-hmm. we gotta, you gotta understand the universe. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Now it's a reason why. They wanted to keep us in the house for the last couple. <laughs> so Tell it, me how that makes thing. sense. I need you to stay indoors where there's no fresh air mm-hmm. to protect yourself from out. How are we not safe outdoors? I'm confused. Niggas used to be running they outdoors shut, with a mask on. They shut, they shut down the parks. Yeah, They shut down the parks during COVID. All, you could not, that was the only thing. Was... But you know what? Not. I, I used to slide out Philly during COVID, and I used to go to the park out there. Yo, they 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 joints was wide open. Everybody mm. out there, you feel me? During the pandemic, I used to have to go out there and get that fresh air. Yeah. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I was I probably was in the worst shape, like we physically. Yeah, bro. Everybody look sitting in the house, smoking, eating. That's all. Literally all you could be. That's it. I had my daughter. <laughs> I had my daughter during the pandemic. What? And I had, had a well, I had a pandemic baby, oh. and I worked from home. And t- she didn't go to daycare for a year. Worked from home and took care of her for a year. We didn't go outside. I what? I Uber Eats and Instacarted everything. I didn't even go to the grocery store anymore. It's a crazy time. They had a scared. Yo, they literally had a scared to go outside. And I remember going to the park like was such a big thing. Like, come on, I'm taking my baby to the park today. Like, yeah. See, I wasn't scared. I knew I knew what was going on. You feel me? I wasn't scared though. Well, my father had passed from my whole family got COVID. My father passed from COVID mm. in his sleep, and that shook me. Like, mm. imagine being a new mom. Like, being a mom, like you already get like an extra, or well, at least the majority of us do, get like an extra 
sense of like carefulness it's like your everything changes your whole essence changes like the way you look at them think about the world you know um and i definitely try not to live in like a fear-based thing but covid that's what covid was produced to do to scare us all yeah i and, mean and, and to and to kill people yeah to kill you us know, yeah but i mean you know it all goes couldn't into fight the, it off yeah you know? it all goes into the fear right so and it all goes into you know and you know this is a sports podcast so we're gonna bring tide it all and it all goes down to how you take care of yourself mm-hmm. you know you feel me if if your body ain't strong enough to fight that out, that's because you know you're not really yeah. in that shape in that shape that you need to be in. So mm-hmm. let's let's eat more healthier. Research what you eat. You feel me? Drink more healthier. Research what you water. drink. Man, Natural spring water. That's what's in here. You feel water. me? You need the minerals like purified water and drinking water. Those are that's water, but it's stripped of those minerals mm-hmm. that you need to really I mean rehydrate. Because once you're not hydrated, your body starts to suck the water out of your bone marrow. And that's where arthritis comes. And you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. And then you, you start putting it together these, where these sports injuries are coming from. Because you're not taking care of your machine. Man, not even that. I'm going to say, like, your mental health. That too. You know, I um I lost 45 pounds in the last year. Um, and it's crazy. Being an athlete, I was always in great shape. Mm-hmm. And when I stopped playing ball, you know, like, you develop unhealthy habits and, you know, like, and it don't happen over, and it don't happen right away. Yeah, you look yeah. up a couple years, you're like, hold <laughs> up. Why did I get this fat? I'm, I'm out of breath. Shit, I can't even, I can't even yeah. walk up. I used to go run around the block. I can't even walk up the steps without getting out of breath. Now I'm like, damn, when that happened? Like, but dealing, just dealing with life, like, mentally, I wasn't in a good place. Like, spiritually, I wasn't in a good place. Emotionally, like, when I when I fixed that, it was like the weight started melting off. Like, I mean, of course I did other things. Like, you know, I'm working out. Like, I I eat. You know, man. Like, I I um order um meal prep meals. Like, I count my calories. You know, um, it don't, starts. Yeah, literally. Yeah. It starts right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gotta get that starts, mental right. It starts man. on the mental. Once I got that mental together, well, I, I got a therapist and that's I'm like, the coach. Key. I'm, I'm telling you, it's the key to everybody. Everything was so much easier. Not just losing weight. Making money was easier. Losing weight was easier. Being happy was easier. Like, everything just was easier, you know? So, uh, you been keeping up with uh, the playoffs and all that? A little bit. All right, so let's... let's um, so, you you know, they got the conference finals coming up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Coming up. You Nick, the Knicks play today, right? Game right, seven. so, we, yeah, we got the Knicks yeah. against uh, the Pacers. You feel me? So, like, who you... So, if... Who you got for that game? The Pacers and Knicks tonight. So we you will probably know by tomorrow. Right. Who the winner is. I'm going for the Knicks. Alright, so Knicks so, so say if the Knicks win. Mm-hmm. Okay, they'll have they'll have to play <clears throat> they'll have to play the Celtics in the conference finals. Who you got coming out of the East? Knicks versus I still Celtics. Got, I still got the Knicks coming out. I'm Are you I'm, a Knicks fan? I, I'm I'm a Knicks fan. How long you been a Knicks fan? I'm gonna be honest. This season, Brunson, you like Brunson. She got a crush on Brunson. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only time girls like teams when they like the nigga on the team. Man. It ain't even it, no. In all seriousness, it if your girl got, got a, if your girl got a favorite team, she like ask the her, right. Ask her the favorite player. Right. What's your favorite player on the team? Uh-huh. No, but um, <laughs> no, I just like a baseball. Like I. Um, I think collectively as a team, like that'd be huge for New York, though. Yeah, they, I don't think they ever been had that. I don't think so. Yeah, that'd nah, be huge like, for New York. I, I like the underdogs. You feel me? Like I, I wish Melo. I wish Melo would have got one with them. Mm, I just Melo would have got one. Period. period. Just yes. period. Period. Yeah. Travesty, but now nah, um, I just I don't think we have any superstars in the league right now. Like besides superstars? LeBron. No, I mean like okay, icons. Like we don't have a next icon. No, 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 no. Hear me out. No, no, no. Think about that generation, right? Because LeBron on his way out of here, yeah, right? So tough. look, so you had, so look, we had Jordan. KD. Look, we had Jordan. Mm-hmm. We had Kobe. Mm-hmm. LeBron coming up. Who is the next LeBron? And that sure ain't LeBron. I'm not. <laughs> oh, that ain't sure. I don't even know why they trying to make this shit happen. No, listen. I, I gave up on Bronny. You know, I ain't making no joke in this situation, but once he had that heart thing, bro, I said, I said, I can't ex- expect too much from him. You Man. feel I me? Mean? I feel bad for him. If I was not feel bad, like, I don't want the nigga to die, die trying try to feel this for the season yeah. for me. But um, I think Ant-Man, he might be next up. He, so he the next, he, he the next thing that's going to put, 
Because I don't, to, to be honest, and it's nothing wrong with this. I think that's the way the league is going now. We have more teams. We have more role. Everybody playing a role, you know. We don't have any, Super like, stuff. that's going to put a team on their back and say, I'm getting this. We don't have no joy with I, the flu I feel games like, no more. You feel me? Yeah. I feel like if Ja could get his shit together, get his mental together, I feel like he could be one of those uh, superstars in the future. He ain't. I'm sorry. You, you think he too uh, NBA young boy though? Yeah, pretty much. If you ain't get it by now, I, I, I don't know what else could happen for niggas, you to niggas, get niggas, for niggas the chase to connect. Niggas like, be chasing characters, man. Do you feel me? All right, so we got in the West. We got, you know, Kyrie and them won last night. Shout out Kyrie and them. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, tonight, the Timberwolves play the Nuggets. Ant-Man versus Joker and them. Who you got coming out of there? Timberwolves versus the Nuggets tonight. Mm, I'm going to go with the Timberwolves. Okay. So, you got Ant coming out. You got Ant winning the night. It'll be the Timberwolves versus the Mavericks for the coming out of the West. Who you got coming out of the West? It'll be Dallas versus the Timberwolves. Yo, if Kyrie win one without LeBron, oh Ooh. my god! Because you know that's always been his dream. I know. <laughs> I think, yeah. Kyrie got something to prove. That's that's yeah. always been his dream, bro. Look, it. Damn, we went. I'm gonna have to go with Kyrie on this one. You know why? Because your heart. Yeah, you know, I always won. Like you said, Kyrie got something to prove yeah. versus the rest of these teams. Like, <laughs> so I was Kyrie, man. Okay, okay. So you got Dallas coming out the West, and you got the Knicks coming out the East. Who you got winning the whole thing? The Knicks. I told you I'm with the underdogs. Man, she like Brunson, man. I That's want all the Knicks to win. She just like Brunson. She want Brunson to I'm win. I'm going that bitch. And you going to go crazy in the Knicks. She want Brunson to man. win. That's it. She ain't from New York. She ain't from Brooklyn. She ain't from Manhattan. She from Baltimore. Well, wait, the closest she been to Brooklyn is South Baltimore. And we dash on ain't working for the Wizards. <laughs> so, hey, yo, shut up. Don't even play like that. All right, so we going in, man. And you know why. You know why. We rapping. You know, I got all the visuals back here on the uh, on the screen. Oh, for real? Yeah, oh, man. okay. So, yeah, man. And, and man, mm-hmm. you know, that green screen, you know, Hollywood shit. Yeah. So, you know, we going to slide over. What about boxing? You fuck with boxing? I was just watching, um, I was just watching Tank for a million dollars worth of game last night. Yeah. So, that interview was funny as shit. Did you see that shit? Um... He was talking... They, like, yeah, they were sitting in the chairs. Yeah, they were sitting yeah, in the yeah, chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the nigga, he was fighting. On the other side, Frank, yeah. over there shaking and shit. Yeah. And this, you know, <laughs> Tank was top of this big shit, boy. Yeah. And, and you know what, man? He deserve it, right? He deserve it. Like, yeah. ain't like he ain't putting in the work behind it. And he had 27 KOs. He 29 and no. Ba- once again, he's from Baltimore because... When you're from Baltimore, it's bigger than just the sport you in. Mm-hmm. We got to make it out the street. That's the first sport. You feel me? God damn. Mm-hmm. We got to make it out of that. Yeah. And he, you see, he's still going through that shit. He's still fighting with yeah. that shit. In and out of jail it. and shit. Yo, he like, he like, yo, a switch, a switch flip when I came home. Yeah. Nah, I really got something to prove now. Yeah. If you thought I had something to prove before... Shit, it's a definitely a different mood over here now. Yeah. That nigga tank ain't man. He about to be thirty and you know. He gonna knock that nigga straight the fuck out. Yeah, I don't, I don't see, I don't see tank, tank losing. Tank gotta really have like a severe like breakdown mm-hmm. in life where it just makes him just underperform in in the ring. Yeah. But, that bottom one, I'm sorry, man. It's bottom over everybody. You feel me? That rage. What? You feel me? When, when, when you when you thinking about your your homies that's dead or your people that's locked up or your mom and your cousins and everybody that's struggling and shit, and you should think about all of the just how you've been treated in life. Period. Yeah, you were gonna do or die. That's you it. Any damn show ain't dying. So. Hold on, right quick. Motherfuckers partying on the block and shit while I'm trying to record this <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> You see how you stop. Hey, yo. Listen, niggas, listen. Baltimore is a block by block city, okay? One block could be nice, right? Then you walk yo, one block up the street, I you got you got duck shootouts and shit. But listen, on this block, I'm the mayor of this block. Hey, yo. <laughs> no bullshit. He ain't I'm walking up, I'm getting out of the car. Hey, what's up? It's a whole party in front of the I'm like, yo, what's up? How y'all doing today? 
They like, man, that shit was good, boy. Cause you know what? I'm I'm a, I'm a god. You feel me? I'm tall. They look, they look up to me. You feel me? And and when I say tall, like I said, I'm not the tallest. So when I say tall, I'm not just tall. Figuratively, like, I'm just talking right. You feel me? Like my leadership is like yeah. people are drawn to that. You feel me? So it's like be who you are, man. Mm -hmm. Walk with your chest out. You feel me? But back that shit up. If you're gonna be a leader, don't lead everybody off the cliff. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, and then be mad when people don't want to follow you, bro. <laughs> like, yo, if you're going to be a true leader in sports and life and anything, man, you got to back that shit up. You got to really be him yeah. or her. Yeah. Whoever you identify as, you feel me? Be yeah. that. Yeah, man, back that shit up. So, with boxing, you know he got the, the fight coming up with the, the mm -hmm. short. Well, you well, we already asked fight. that. You, yeah. yeah. We're going to knock short the other. Yeah, definitely. So, all right, we're going to pivot over to local sports. And when I say local sports, we're going to start at the major. You feel me? So, we got the Baltimore Ravens. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. we got close last year. But, I don't know, man. I just feel it's, it's like it's a conspiracy not to let Lamar get a ring. I, I don't know why I feel like it's that way. Ah. Uh... Why First of we all, keep coming so close. Yeah, this this some bullshit. We had an awesome team last season. <laughs> awesome team. Right? Like ODB, like. Then they got rid of ODB. He 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 down uh, Miami now. Mm. What's that about? I don't know, man. Baltimore gotta get it together. It's like we had a history of that. I remember yeah. after it was like after every time we won a Super Bowl or something, or we had a good team. The next season, they the man dismantle that shit. Mm -hmm. Like they don't want to pay these niggas. One of the best memories of my life, I went to, I graduated from Digital Hub, but the same year, my senior year is the year they won the Super Bowl. And Beyonce before. <laughs> so you know, senior year going down digital, they shut the whole I ain't gonna it was the first that was one 2013. Only time, yeah, 2013. Yeah, so one only time my father let me skip school. <laughs> I got to stay over in school. That's go to the parade. Yes. Yo, that shit is like a once in a lifetime. Right. I will never forget that shit. Like, shut you know, the whole know, you, city down. You know why I'll I never forget? And this is crazy because you could have, you could experience something in life but have two total perspectives. I went out New Year's Eve. I was going out Philly to go on, to go to a New Year's Eve party. With, you know, my people's out there. I got family out there and shit. So we was going... I end up getting locked up, catching the case out there. I'm I'm already on parole, so boom, I, it's an automatic detainer. I can't bail out of nothing. I gotta sit. So I get locked up. These niggas win the Super Bowl, bro. I'm watching on TV Damn. and shit. Everybody like, yeah, be more. Oh, yeah, because I'm not you, I'm in Philadelphia. I'm watching yeah. Philadelphia, so niggas like, oh, be more. You y'all, you y'all won. Yeah. So it's like I'm happy. Then when I call home, oh my god. I, I picked the sick. phone up. You could hear the city in the back. No, literally. Yo, yo, I was so sick, bro. Like, I was so sick, bro. I'm trying. I'm trying to talk to niggas. Like, yo, what? 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 Niggas are. Like, ah. I just hung up the phone, bro. Man, I know you was sick. What? Yo, go to the, the, listen. I played ball too. That was this is during baseball season, mm -hmm. nigga. I didn't even get a chance to play my game that day. Look, and my phone would listen. I don't know if you, that's, did we run my background down? But look, I was real in the sports, like, at the time, like, you know, going to Penn State, like, it's my senior year of high school. I missed my game. I couldn't play my game. Like, my father ain't give a fuck. The Ravens just won the Super Bowl, my nigga. I don't give a fuck about that game. Yeah. Nigga said it, yeah. wasn't, nigga said it wasn't no violence in the city for yo, like a month. No, for real. Yo, it was just so much love everywhere you went. Yo, man, man I'm, I'm watching the news, all my team, all my classmates on the news and shit. We see them niggas, hop, it's all digital season. We see them niggas hopping over the fence and shit. <laughs> yo, you come back, they held, then we all try to go back to school. They held us all in the cafeteria again. So we all in the cafeteria got lit. Like, <laughs> at the right. fucking Super Bowl party, yo, lit. <laughs> That's crazy, and I, I felt I felt like it. I felt like yo last year I felt like yeah yo I'm gonna get to see it I'm gonna get to see it, <sighs> but hey, you know we'll see. I think I was watching a little update on, on, on Lamar. He, he shed it a couple more pounds. You know he fast already because he came in the league he was like two twenty something. Mm -hmm. So I think he down to like probably like almost two now. So. Mm -hmm. You know he gonna be even Dangerous. faster. You feel me? Man. What about baseball? You keep up with baseball? I love. Um, 
So I played baseball when I was younger. Oh, I played, okay. yes, I played low league baseball. What position? Know, James Mosier. Man, I was a bum. They had me out in left field some fucking way. I was out that bitch eating motherfucking sunflower seeds and shit. Nah, nah, nah I was in action. I played shortstop. Oh, uh, God. They had my ass like that. Every once in a while, I would, I would hit the ball and shit. Most of the time, it was a foul ball. Boop, walker. Man, yo. Little bunter. She was the bunter. Yeah, look. Well, all right, here I go. Nah, but um, I love going to, I love the atmosphere, like Orioles games. I had, well, the crazy thing is, I've never been to a regular season Ravens game. I got to get to one this year. Yeah. But I go to Orioles games all the time. It's so much fun. Yeah. Like, yo, you really feel uh, the spirit. Like, you really feel the spirit of the heart of Baltimore when you go to an Orioles game. Like, it's not, the energy down there is crazy. Yeah, man. And, and right now, man, they're on a crazy run right now. You feel me? They're on a crazy run. I just love the, uh, it's just something about the colors, bro. Like, that and everybody loves that orange and black color, bro. Like, no, that. literally. Man, I went outside Friday night. I didn't even realize it was um uh, the Orioles was playing today. I had an orange too. Man, everywhere I went, the love. Oh, the love, yo. Listen. That orange, that Oreo orange, bro. Ain't nothing like it. Right? Oh, not beautiful black skin. What? Ain't nothing like it. Mm. I mean, so. Any uh, anything you got coming up? Any announcements you want to make? Yeah, I mean, look out for my own podcast, Journey to Infinity. Like, okay. Yeah, like, okay. I uh, mean, I was telling you before, like, I really want to tap into sports and mental health and, like, and just okay. hold this period, you know? Hey, hey, hey. I might slide her this podcast. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is true. Shit, I say, look, don't don't threaten me with a good time. I say this motherfucker over. Hey, how y'all doing? What we journey to one Hey, I'm telling you. You wouldn't finna be Austin Rock one of the best right now. Stop I'm playing telling with you. it. Listen, on. listen. It's about who won it, though. You feel me? That's all it's about. You feel me? Like, I run a business. You feel me? <clears throat> it's like... I gotta, I gotta give content to the people. I gotta feed the... I gotta feed the, the audience, man. People... Everybody know, man, anything you like, you're going to want more of it. You feel mm -hmm. me? So you just can't do something one month that lead the people for two months and cry, come back. And, no, bro. This is what I'm saying about me. I got a lot of stuff um, that I got in the pocket. Like, it's a lot of different projects. I'm a creative person. Like, Baltimore, yeah. listen, we from Baltimore, baby. We got yeah. many talents. I don't think it's all of it. They just got one. Like, I mean, but I will say, like, I do like the lane of social media. Like, we in a time of if you just present yourself, like... The sky's the limit. Yeah. You know? It ain't like just one. You feel me? We yeah. have unlimited opportunities over here. Listen. I, 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 I've I done um, consulting work for Bloomberg and shit. I walk in them offices as me. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, yeah. Like, because that's what they want. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's what they feed off of. Mm -hmm. That's what they exploit. That's what they are <laughs> dependent on. But if you Rick don't know food. that you could put a price Mm -hmm. On your talents, you're gonna be exploited. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just like any that's just in any lane. Like anytime I go in for a job, I always told them I was making four dollars more than what I was mm -hmm. making in my last job. Mm -hmm. Like and every time I've never not since the since the time I started working, when I started working, I was making seven dollars an hour. <laughs> and uh what's that shit? Under Armour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how Under Armour. Yeah, I worked there for like a week. Um so where I'm at now, being a program manager, I've never took a pay decrease. Like it's mm -hmm. all about you feel me, but it's all about selling yourself. Selling yourself. You gotta know your worth. You gotta know your price. You gotta. You feel me? Can't settle, man. You feel me? Never. Like like I started out with a uh, with a camera, a laptop, and a and a book bag. You feel me? Like walking to where I had to go and. You feel me? Like, uh, I'm going, still fighting the streets. You feel me? Because I, I went from the streets to this. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I ain't go to school and all that. And you feel me? Like, it was the streets to this. You feel me? But it's mm -hmm. it's just me being intelligent, me being applying myself. You feel me? Learning, learning the game, learning what's going on. And so now I, I know my value. You feel me? I done walked it, I done put mm -hmm. that work in. So mm -hmm. when I talk, I could back that yeah, shit up. You, you know what I mean? With it. That's what exactly. So when I be talking, I could talk. I could talk to the nigga in the hood, the fiends outside, to a motherfucker that's running a Fortune 500 company. You feel me? I know. Yeah. I know all the language and shit. So this really is easy to me and shit for real. And man, and once you were, listen, we, she got kids. I got a son. You feel me? Like, if it, it, mm -hmm. you feel me? She got. You got a daughter. Mm -hmm. I got a son. You feel me? 
once you just strip all that down, we are creators. You feel me? Literally. I created it. <laughs> she creates. You feel me? At the end of the day, we are creators. So once you apply yourself to anything, you could create mm-hmm. anything. You feel me? Yeah. Anything. You feel me? So, I mean, just aim for the sky, man. Zero turnovers, man. Another good episode, mm-hmm. I feel. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man. Hopefully, this, you know, it'll be saying more infinity on yeah. here. I'm yeah, man. Because, the you know, the spot is vacant. You little niggas, y'all don't come to work. <laughs> Look, <laughs> it's not me. I just took them. them <laughs> y'all fucked up. Like, yeah, I just took this spot. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. That's how I go. Look, they learning a valuable life lesson right now. And if y'all want to show a spot back, y'all gotta play her one on one. How about Ooh, that? Ooh, I. They definitely ain't getting it back now. How about that? <laughs> how about that? Zero turnover podcast. <laughs>